Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to model loads in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In this particular video, you will learn how to model panel loads. A panel is a fictitious area which is used to distribute load to the supporting members. It doesn't provide any additional self-weight to the system or contribute to the stiffness of the structure. It is just used as a mechanism for distributing a uniform pressure load. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step in this process is we need to create some panels and we're going to use some existing nodes or members in order to do this. To create any type of modeling system within the physical modeler, you can click on the model tab and you can see all the different items we can create. I'm going to create a panel node by selecting the perimeter nodes. So let's go ahead and create a panel within this area. Now you do want to create a panel within each individual bay for which that uniform load is being applied. So here I'm going to click on the four corners of this area and then I'm going to double click at my starting node to complete the polygon. Now I'm going to repeat that for any other panels that I want to create. Now a few notes about modeling panels in the physical modeler. Panels should be symmetric and regular in shape. Reentrant corners should be avoided. For complex panels or framing, a clockwise or counterclockwise panel definition can sometimes change the resulting load distribution. Now that we've created the panels on our system, let's go to the second step, which would be to assign a pressure load to each of these panels. So what you're going to do in order to do that is first, I'm going to unselect the modeling panel tool, and then I can select all of the panels within my model. What you're going to notice is that when you have at least one panel selected, you will have some tools to assign information to the panels. Let's go ahead and click on the assign, the pressure, magnitude, and direction icon. Within this dialog, I will go ahead and select the appropriate load case. And we're going to go with snow load for this example. Then I'm going to enter the direction of load and the load magnitude. Once we're done, let's go ahead and click OK. And here we can see that a pressure load has been assigned to each of those panels. Now at this point, we're ready to move on to the final step in our workflow for modeling panels within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. And this would be to distribute the pressure load to the bounding members. To do that, let's go ahead and click on the panel tab in the ribbon toolbar, and then the distribute pressure icon. Now I should be able to see the resulting member loads along each of the members that represent the perimeter of each of these panels. Now the tributary areas of bounding edge members will be graphically displayed by the dashed lines for your selected panels. By default, all panel loads will be distributed to all of the bounding members as a series of uniform and linearly varying loads. So now, this was based on a two-way distribution of that panel load pressure. But what if you were interested in a one-way distribution instead? You can go ahead and request that type of distribution of load directly through the spreadsheet. So in the ribbon toolbar, select the spreadsheet tab, and then select this icon, the panel loaded edges icon. What this will do is it'll identify the different edges for each panel within your model, and you could selectively turn off a particular edge to force the load to distribute in a different direction. Now for each of these panels, I started in the upper left-hand corner, and I proceeded in a clockwise fashion. 
What that basically means is the first edge that I created will be edge one, then edge two, edge three, and then edge four. Now for this exercise, I wanna turn off edge one and edge three and force a two-way distribution of this load. Let's take a look at that for our first panel. Let me go ahead and unselect edge one checkbox and the edge three. Now, if I wanted to see the resulting member loads to ensure that I'm doing this correctly, I can go to the panel tab in the ribbon toolbar and ask the program to redistribute the pressure to the supporting members. Now I can see that panel one is a two-way distribution and it is spanning it to edge two and edge four. I wanna go ahead and repeat this process for the remaining panels. Now, since I started in the upper left-hand corner of each of the panels and proceeded in a clockwise fashion, edge one and edge three should be the same for each one of these panels. Now, if you'd like to copy information down, go ahead and click in the field that you want and make sure it's set to the parameter that you're interested in. Here, I placed my cursor in panel one, edge one, and ensured that the checkbox is unselected. I wanna copy this information down to the other currently selected panels. To do that, I'm gonna to go to the data tab in the ribbon toolbar. I'm gonna to ask the program to fill the column. And here you can see it just copies that information down to the rest of the fields. Let's copy that situation for edge number three. Again, I'm going to place my cursor in that field ensure that field is correct, and then I will fill that column. Now at this point, I've told the program how I want that pressure load distributed. To distribute that pressure load, I could click on the panel tab in the ribbon toolbar and ask the program to distribute the pressure to the tributary members. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.